Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to do a review of <gasps> The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rakowski, the third and final book in the Winner's Trilogy. <gasps> oh, it's finally here, guys. <gasps> my precious. First of all, it was a beautiful conclusion to an amazing trilogy. A short summary is that it continues right after where the winner's crime left off, where we last saw Christelle being sent to a prison while Aaron is on a ship heading home. It all started with a curse and the winner's curse which led to a crime and finally we get to a kiss. This last book to a trilogy was simply amazing. It was so much more than I thought it was. What I, when I first came into this book, what I thought was the, of the end game being Christelle and Aaron. And there was so much more. There was action, there was fighting, there was love, there was plotting, and there was just this wow factor that you want in a last book in a series or a trilogy. It just really is the topping on that cake for the winner's trilogy. This is this is a simply reason why I am so, so putting this trilogy on my favorites list. If you have not read this book, please stop the video right here and go read this book. Or better yet, go start the, ser uh, the trilogy if you haven't yet. As for now, on to the rest of my thoughts about the winner's kiss. Christelle's character is still an amazing character. She's a fierce, total badass female character that you really much want to admire, who does not need fighting skills or weapon to be strong. She is strong because of her wit, because she is smart, because she's able to just use her brain and her best of her abilities to get out of a situation. I was simply like amazed where the plot twist was. Christelle and Aaron's relationship is very rocky and the authors kind of turn it around by making Christelle lose her memory. Yes, that is right. She lose her memory of everything including memories of Aaron. Oh my god, I was like, really? She just pulled that off in like a couple of chapters. I was so surprised. I am that very kind of person that do not like the whole temporary or like permanent amnesia in a storyline because I think that is just a quick kind of way to, to, to solve a plot or simply to resolve a problem. But Oh my god, this way worked really well for the Christelle and Aaron ship. Since she lost her memory, it was like starting all over again for Christelle and Aaron. They got to know each other a lot more. There was so much cute bickering, bantering, and I was so overwhelmed with this cuteness that I was giddy in my seat when I read this. I am so happy that my ship Sail, guys, the Christelle and Iron Ship sail. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Actually, ever since I read the other two books. Yes, they are no longer the star cross lover that I label them to be. They are finally a couple. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Finally, we see a side of Aaron that we did not see before. 
the author really developed Aaron's character really well in the last book. We got to see his fear, we got to see his emotion, and we got to see him to really think about his action. His fears are that he is the embracer of the god of death. And he's fear that whoever is near him will lose their life, especially when that comes to Christelle. He really much blames himself for why she loses her memory or why she was tortured in the prison. It's just really heartbreaking because this is a side of him that I have never saw before in the last two books and that really opened me up and then you add in the whole like him trying to make Christelle fall in love with him over again was just the like, topping on the cake for me. I just really love that. It showed that you know Aaron is human and he generally is not this jerk that he was in the other book. So he's now Aaron. Oh. Another part that the author touched is the idea of the father and daughter relationship between Christelle and General Trajan her father. It's a really rocky path for them. He is this high-notch elite general in the Valoran army and he really does not show his emotion much to her at all. All her life it seems as though Christelle is fighting for her father's love or his approval. This is a struggle that Christelle continues to feel in The Winner's Kiss. We never get to really see this issue fully resolved because the path to recovery for them is going to be quite long. What to do with my life now once I finish reading the Winner's Trilogy? It's like I want to read it over again just to relive that moment of Christelle and Aaron. I simply love this book that much guys. So, as you can guess, my rating for this book is a 5 out of 5 star. It was awesome. If there were more stars, I will give it more stars, okay? That is how much I absolutely love this book. Have you read the Winner Trilogy or have you read the last book in this awesome trilogy? Let me know below. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon guys in an upcoming video. 